<sighs> it's the day. My chest is like, I'm just way, 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 way too excited. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Judy, if you didn't already know. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel. And if you end up enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Today, I am going to Guatemala. I didn't even try and lead up to it. I'm going to Guatemala. I'm just all tightened up. But basically, I wanted to get this video done before I leave, which is in about like an hour. So we need to get this rolling but yeah i am going to do a packing video with you guys i am backpacking for two weeks in guatemala with my friend the same friend that i went to hawaii with honestly she's probably the only friend that i have that would be down to do this crazy stuff so um yeah obviously i will be vlogging the trip or trying to get as much footage as i can to share with you guys y'all are coming with me it'll be a great time. So my bag is already packed because obviously I'm leaving in like two seconds. Let's just start. So this is the Patagonia 40 liter bag. Patagonia is a Canadian company. It's like that. <sighs> Patagonia is a Canadian company and the bags are absolutely amazing. I use them on business trips, on just travel stuff. And I also have the Osprey backpack 40 liter, but to be honest, this one can carry more than the Osprey. When I filled up my Osprey, it was already completely full. This bag still has a lot, a lot of space that I can press down, do this, squish, all this stuff. So, yeah. This bag has a side handle and it also has backpack straps. So in the front is the first pocket. Here, I just threw my little wipe for my glasses just because it's within reach. And then I have my inflatable neck pillow for the flight. And that's the Air Canada one. It's always a weapon. Now, the second pouch. It's like an electronic kind of pouch. You can put a laptop in here. You can put your chargers. You can put books, everything, because it's organized really, really, really nicely. It looks like this, okay? Bunch of pouches everywhere. So what do I have in here? I have a little fanny pack that is waterproof that I can use when I'm going kayaking, canoeing, anything like that on the water where I don't have to leave my stuff at the hostel, like my phone and my wallet. I have a book. I'm going to read The Power of Now. I'm going to start it today. We'll see how it goes. I have a little notepad and a pen in here as well just to kind of take some notes if I need to. Whatever. Probably won't. I got my sunglasses in here as well. I have my portable charger as well, let's see, I have some batteries for my camera, obviously, I told y'all I'm trying to take you with me. I have chargers for my phone and my portable charger here. I also have this tube just in case I want to like touch up my hair or something, I can just kind of roll the ends, dip it in boiling water and we're good to go. And then I have some extra SD cards and stuff as well. So it's all organized in different sections of the bag. It's, it's organized. And that's what we care about. So on the back, there's also another compartment. I don't have anything in here. But you can fit like a laptop in here. You can fit anything really. The main compartment of the backpack is massive. So we get this. Oh lord, I think my ride is coming. Oh no, my ride isn't coming yet. So in this main compartment, I have all my clothes and all my toiletries, basically. So I got this huge packing cube from Mountain Equipment Co-op. Look, it says mech somewhere. Mech, mech. It's a dual kind of bottom and top layered um, packing cube and it's like the best thing ever. I've used it to travel everywhere on literally every single trip you will see me with this because it just organizes everything so perfectly. So I usually put the tops and dresses at the top, bottoms on the bottom. So what am I taking with me to wear? Uh, taken, I am going for two weeks. So I have this like white flowy top. I have another really cute like tie front shirt. I have a romper that I'm sleeping in um, that I've literally been wearing for like 10 years. I have a t-shirt to sweat in, sleep in, hike in, anything. Another really cute top from Colombia, um, like off the shoulder, flowy, very colorful. South American, Central American countries, like where there's Latinos, it's always going to be color. 
so we can't be doing the blacks. I'm wearing black right now, but that's because I'm not getting there until nighttime, so. I have a cover-up that's really, really, really cute as well. I would show you guys all the clothes, except for the fact that I'm leaving in like half an hour, so I'm not going to do that. I also have a cute little dress that I got from Malaysia. I have a crocheted top. I have a little bodycon brown dress. I have a white long sleeve shirt, and then I have a white bodysuit. And that, my friends, is almost all of it. Just one second. So when we open this, have them nicely organized. This is way more organized and less stuff than my tops because I feel like the tops are just really, really all over the place. Taken on this trip, I'm going to be hiking. Like I'm doing like a two night, uh, two day hike. We're spending time on the lake. We're spending time on boats. We're also spending time in the city. Um, so I just needed kind of a variety of stuff. For bottoms, I am bringing the leggings, the black leggings that I'm wearing right now. I'm bringing a pair of black boy shorts, black shorts, um, like jean shorts, white jean shorts. I'm bringing like an army green kind of, um, the capri pants. I'm bringing jean capri shorts. I'm bringing a pair of black jeans, and then I'm bringing some bell-bottom kind of stretchy pants that are this color. It's pink. It's really, really, really pretty. But yeah, this is my packing gear. We can go back into the suitcase. Now, what else do I have in the main compartment? I have my toiletries bag. This is everything from medications, band-aids, toothbrush, any little piece of makeup that I want to bring. Um, I usually, when I'm traveling, like on the travel day, I usually carry my stuff just like this. Um, like all my liquids like this just because we're not about to dig in and start taking things individually when they tell you to take out your liquids. You just take it out, here you go, blop. So I have a toothbrush, I have a, another toothbrush for my edges. I'm bringing a soap bar, have a razor, have a lot of meds because your girl's got problems that you don't need to know about. A couple extra hair ties and that is that and it all fits in here really nicely and that just goes here huh. so this is my microfiber towel that I got from Amazon for like 20 bucks or something I tried it out in Hawaii it worked really really well I used it as like a beach towel as a shower towel and it also comes with a mini face towel as well so these are really really great they dry really fast as well I have a mini backpack as well that um, is foldable it opens up and it's about like a 20 liter backpack that I can just kind of take on day trips, maybe hiking, anything like that. Just really light, easy to bring. I'll just pack it. Guys, look at this. This is a foldable water bottle. I know. This is probably like one of your first times seeing something like this. Um, I got it off Amazon and it's very lightweight, easy to bring, and look. Ah, yeah, it's dope. Okay, so then you just do this, get all the air out, close it, it has little straps on the side, put it on. So this is how I organize my main compartment. There's all my clothes, there's my toiletries, there is my little mini bag, towel, and this. And I still have so much room in here, like, there's so much room. So in this compartment, I have an extra pair of socks, I have a strapless sports bra, and I have a bunch of just underwear laying on that side. And that's that for the outside. This compartment at the bottom holds my, you know, bonnet girl. I also have just like boob pads. This is my little satin scarf slash do-rag. Um, and I have just a couple bathing suits in here. And then what else? And then I have just a couple sports bras as well for my hikes. So now that I'm done showing you the two sections, there's only one thing left, and that is the back section, which holds a lot, a lot of stuff, but I'll show you what I keep in here. I'm bringing a pair of flip-flops, I just lay them flat here, and then I have these little sandals that I got from Walmart for like, I don't know how much money, it's Walmart. And then finally, I have my outfit, which I'll just show you right now. So with my outfit, I'm obviously wearing my glasses, I'm wearing my rosary, I try my best to always wear these on flights because just to remind myself that he's always with me. Um, I'm wearing a cropped black tee. I literally just grabbed a large t-shirt and cut it and it's the vibe. And then I'm wearing these leggings that I got from Amazon. They're really cute. That's it. Yeah, they're gonna be great for hikes. And I am 
pulling up with these Nike runners. These are the shoes that I'll be wearing whenever I don't want to wear sandals, if it's raining out, when I'm hiking. Just this pair. So I'm only really bringing two pairs of shoes. The sandals, these, and then I have flip-flops for like the shower and the hostel and stuff. So last two items that I'm packing is my Hallie Hansen jacket. It's really, really light, lightweight, waterproof. What else do you need? Apparently it's kind of rainy season right now or it's starting to be rainy seasoning with this. So I just want to make sure I'm prepared and some of those overnight hikes, I might need a jacket. So I'm going to pack this. Actually, I'm not going to pack it. I'm just going to wear it on the plane. But yeah. And then this is my everyday bag. I don't know who got me this. It's really cute. It's just like, I just <laughs> double sides and it's crossbody. And what do I have in here? So in here, I just have my wallet. It's actually a wallet that I got from Cancun. Um, I have some Pepto because your girl stays getting sick and getting heartburn and such. And duh, my AirPods. Shout out to my man for getting me these. And then the last pocket here is my handy dandy passport. So it is currently 7.48. Look at me and my boo, we're so cute. And our flight is at 11.45. My friend said she's already leaving her house to come get me. So we're probably gonna be at the airport like two and a half to three hours early. We're not checking any bags. I've already checked the stem. We already have our boarding passes so we can just go straight through. It's not gonna be an issue. I definitely overpacked, but that's why I'm bringing this bag. And this bag can fit a lot more stuff, which is great because I wanna buy a lot of stuff there. I'm just excited and just, I know I'm gonna be so, 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 so exhausted, but I'm so excited to go. Guatemala is full of just rich, rich culture. The people are beautiful. They have so much to offer. And if it's not on your list, it should be. Um, I will let you know how the trip goes, though. I'll bring you guys along with me, like I said. And thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video, for supporting me. I really, really appreciate it. Wish me safety and the best of luck and fun. That's all I'm really trying to go for. And I just really want to explore the country, enjoy it. So... Yeah, bless you guys, thank you so much, and I will catch you next time. Deuces.